I was glad when they said unto me, I was glad when they said unto me, I was glad when they said unto me, Come, let us go into the house of the Lord. This is the day, this is the day that the Lord has made, that the Lord has made. I will rejoice, I will rejoice and be glad in it, and be glad in it. This is the day that the Lord has made. I will rejoice and be glad in it. This is the day, this is the day that the Lord has made. Good morning and welcome to Daily Impact. I am Yemi Grisman Adulaju, lead pastor, Lighthouse International Christian Center, Sam on the UI Road, Ibadan, Nigeria. This is the day that the Lord has made and we will rejoice and be glad in it. There is something amazing about today, the first day of the week, the day that the Lord Jesus Christ rose from the dead. He rose from the dead on the first day of the week. And as Mary Magdalene and, and the other Mary and the others went to the sepulchre uh, to spice the body of Jesus, they got there and they discovered that the stone had been rolled away. Let's take a test and read from the Gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ according to St. Mark chapter number 16 from verse number 1 to verse 4. Mark chapter 16, 1 to 4. And when the Sabbath day was passed, Mary Magdalene and Mary the mother of James and Salome had bought sweet spices that they might come and anoint him. And very early in the morning, the first day of the week, they came unto the sepulchre, the rising of the sun. And they said among themselves, Who shall roll us away the stone from the door of the sepulchre? And when they looked, they saw that the stone was rolled away, for it was very great. Mary Magdalene, Mary the mother of James and Salome, they bought sweet spices and they were heading for the sepulchre of Christ Jesus the King, that he might anoint his body. But they wondered, they had a question when they were going for that gathering, when they were going, the question was, who will roll away this stone from the mouth of the sepulchre? But the Bible says, when they looked, they saw that the stone had been rolled away. I do not know what represents a stone on your destiny. I do not know the question that has bogged your mind or that is bogging your mind at this present moment. That is an issue that is tormenting or troubling you. That is an issue that is affecting your peace. But I have a word from the Lord for you this morning that God has sent a solution. And as you appear before him in Zion today, you will discover the solution for that problem, for the solution to that situation. You will suddenly discover that the stone has been rolled away. And so today as to gather with the saints of God, you will move from strength to strength. Every question in your mind, in your heart, about your life, about your destiny, about your child, about your parents, about your health, will find an answer today. Today, as we gather before the Lord, the Lord will show you what to do in the name of Jesus. He will show you where to go. He will show you who to call. You will hear a word behind you that will tell you this is the way. Walk in it as you appear before the Lord today. Whatever represents a problem in your life shall be resolved. Whatever represents a mountain shall be leveled. Whatever represents a valley shall be filled. Whatever represents a stone shall be rolled away. There will be an answer of peace for you today. Help will come for you today. From likely, from unlikely sources that will be help for you today. Now one question may bug down your mind. That who rolled the stone away from Mary uh, Magdalene and Mary the mother of James and Salome? Who rolled away the stone for them? Before the arrival, God has sent an angel to that rolled away the stone. And I guarantee to you, in the name of the Lord, speaking prophetically now, that today God will send you an angel in the form of a man and men in the form of angels. God will send you people who will ensure that the stone about your destiny, on the mouth of your destiny, shall be rolled away. Stones shall be rolled for your divine emergence. In the precious name of Jesus. Don't forget, go with this assurance. God will send you angels in the form of men in the precious name of Jesus. I have this unusual conviction that there is an amazing miracle that will happen in your life today 
in the presence of the Lord. I'd like you to go to the house of God with great expectation this morning. Be like the psalmist. I was glad when they said to me, come and let us go into the house of the Lord. Please, dear listener, don't go into God's presence today without an expectation. Go with a great expectation. Go with hunger. Blessed are those who hunger and thirst after righteousness. They shall be satisfied. And I've always told you, God never sends anybody away empty, except the man who is full of himself. Don't go before the Lord today full of yourself. Go empty, and the Lord will fill you to the brain. He will fill you. He won't send you away empty. Go with great expectation. Don't go to God's house today to socialize. Of course, you socialize, but do that after you have spiritualized. After you are spiritualized, then you can socialize. Don't just go for fashion. No, there is no room in the house of God for fashion, for display of fashion, latest fashion. You don't need all that. Go with a purpose in mind. Go with an expectation to the house of God. God is longing to fellowship with you. He's expecting you. And something major will drop for you today in the name of Jesus. I believe very strongly that the Lord will visit you. I don't look down on your pastor. Wherever your pastor is, go with faith. The pastor you don't respect can never bless you. If you want to draw virtue from your pastor, place a great value upon him. And God will speak to you through that man. Not only through your pastor, through anyone who will stand behind the pulpit with the microphone. This is the assignment and the message God has sent to you this morning, and I have delivered as he has sent me. Go with expectation. An amazing miracle will happen for you, and you will return with testimonies in the precious name of Jesus. Amen. Heavenly Father, I pray for my listener that today will be his day. Today will be a day. My Father, my dear listener has had the testimony of others. Let today be the day for his own testimony. Let today be the day for a visitation. As your son, your daughter appear before you today, take them from strength to strength. Take them from glory to glory. Let your power rest on them and let them return with singing, with dancing and with testimonies. Let their appearance before you today not be in vain and let your name be glorified in their lives. Let stones be rolled away for them. Let questions be answered. Let heaven open on them and let your name be glorified. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name we have prayed. Amen. Go get up now, get set, and go to God's house. Something major awaits you. Until I come your way again tomorrow morning for another exciting edition of our program, I am Jeremy Grisman Adulogu, wishing you a very happy Sunday and a very fruitful week in advance. The Lord bless you.